Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this um, ultralight um, photo editing app tutorial. Um, so ultralight on my other ultralight video, I did a walkthrough of ultralight years ago and all I get comments on the ultralight app is please make for Android. Um, I hope that it does come for Android soon because it's an awesome app. I'm going to show you how to create your own presets today. Um, and just how easy it is. So yeah, um, here we go. So I'm gonna go to preset and you, you can see that I can already choose my presets along the bottom here if I want to. Um, and I can just select from different preset sort of, um, sort of um, preset categories. Pointing out, I haven't got the pro version on this, so um, I will be missing some functionality, but, um, but everything I want to do with, ever want to do with Ultralight, I can do. So I'm going to go to Edit, and um, in Ultralight, if you're not familiar with it, check out the video that I did. There's not a lot changed. There is some processes changed, but not a lot changed. But it's really good because you have sliders as opposed to um, sort of waveform lines, if you like. Um, so on these sliders, there's lots I can um, lots I can do in the Edit tab. Let me just go back to the main um, sort of the main ultralight logo sliders, if you like. And all I'm going to do with this, I'm going to because of the the, the, the type of image, um, I'm going to I'm going to drag not drag down the blacks to make the blacks dark. I'm going to drag up the blacks, and then what this does, it gives you a nice little um, sort of matte sheen over the top of the image. And then I'm going to, on the shadows, everything else I'm going to sort of drag down a little bit. The shadows, I'm just going to drag down a little bit. And then the mid-tones I'm going to drag down a little bit, makes the image a little bit darker. But then the highlights I'm going to take up just a couple of just a couple of notches, just one or two um, sort of notches. If you look in the circle, in the center of the circle, you can, um, you can see where it's going up and down. And then the whites, um, the whites I'm going to pretty much leave as they are. Okay, then I'm going to go across to this um, this crosshair. And this, what this crosshair does, it allows you to adjust the saturation on the image. So if I go up, it's going to take my, up to the right-hand side, it's going to take my highlights up, the saturated highlights. Here it's going to do my um, vibrance, and here it's going to take them down, and here it's going to just reduce a little bit of saturation again. So anything with a bit of colour, I just want to reduce the saturation just a tiny bit, okay? So just take it down to the bottom left-hand corner. And then I'm going to go over to the colourise. I want a bit of a warm feel to this, so I'm going to bring it into the yellows. But I want, again, if I start going sort of extreme with anything, it generally spoils an image. So from the centre point, I'm just going to come down to the yellows um, just a little bit, just a just drag the arrows down towards yellow or the yellows. And then you can colorize the blacks or colorize the whites if you want, but I just want to colorize the overall image. And then um, with the saturation levels, with the, with the color sliders, I'm not going to do anything with the color sliders, but I am going to do something, this triangle here, I'm going to do something with the clarity. I'm going to drive the clarity up a little bit. I'm going to drive the sharpness up just to, again, just a touch. And um, the emphasis, this is... Um, this is almost like, um, it's a little bit like clarity, um, but just a little bit more emphasis in the image. And then the noise, I'm just gonna leave the noise levels where they are. And what I really like about the ultralight um, vignette tool, left is white, and then to the right, it makes it darker, but it doesn't just do the corners. Most vignette tools just um, drags the corners in but this does the outlines of the or the outsides of the image as well which I really like um, and then I'm going to go to this background here now this is where you'll see that I haven't got the pro version because the backgrounds here are, are mostly all pro versions but you can do some real nice things with these backgrounds so let me just select this um, this gold background here and right away you can see what it does to the image and I can adjust the intensity of it or take away some of the intensity of the image. So this puts quite a bit of noise into the image, um, but gives us this nice, nice sort of lens flare on the left-hand side, which is which is what I'm, I'm looking for. But then when you um, select one of the backgrounds, what you can do on the right-hand side is you can choose the overlay style, or sorry, the, the blend mode. So this is like an overlay that I want, or overlay, 
blending overlay mode and this is screen and um, just as you would expect with normal blend modes um, it's just adjusting them or giving you a different feel depending on what it's doing with the blend mode but I want to sort of leave mine to this exclusion here so exclusion um, or the screen mode it really doesn't matter um, if I go to the exclusion and just drag that up a little bit I just get this really nice sort of feel on this image so I've got this nice sort of matte feel on the image got a nice really um, not too prominent lens flare and got a little bit of noise in the image as well but it's dragged all the edges and sharpened all the edges out for us so we've got a really nice um, feel to that photo I was going to save that out and just save it out and I could save over or save um, I'm just going to save next to the image so I can show you a before and after um, this is just an iOS 14.5 thing ask app not to track which is what I'm going to do um, and then I'm just going to go to the presets and I can create this as a preset. So I'll create a preset lens with a mat. There we go. So I'm going to call it that. So now I can um, add that or this, this preset to any other image. So if I go back to my library and let's just look at this image here that I took and then I go to presets and this is where you will see the noise. That's the background noise that's um, within that overlay that I just showed you. So here you can see that there's lots of background noise within that overlay and you can just tone that down a little bit. So if you create that preset and add the preset, you can just tone it down um, or you could change the um, change the blending mode of it. But that's quite nice as well. So um, let me just show you a quick before and after of those images. So here's the image before that we were um, we were looking at. And then this is the after um, image so you can see it's a, it just gives a completely different feel to the image more of a sort of professional sort of feel to the image so i hope this um hope you enjoyed this ultralight app tutorial and um, create a create a preset it's um, it's a great little app go and uh, go and have a look take care bye